Welcome to a very special episode of TFL Truck and today it's all about big trucks. Can you guess what truck I'm sitting in? It's a very special 2020 F550 Super Duty. That's right, today I'm a dump truck driver. How about I'll let you listen to this 7.3 liter gas V8 in this work truck. Check it out. In this video, we're gonna show you loading, unloading of this dump truck. I'll go over all the specs, of course, availability, and we'll do a turning radius test because this truck is equipped with a sharper cut on the steering system. It's gonna be cool. Oh yeah! <laughs> We don't get to play with really big trucks very often. This is a 2020 Ford Super Duty F550 with still a Godzilla 7.3 liter gas engine, but this truck is big boy and it's got a dump bed. So this video is all about using the truck the way it's meant to be used. But the coolest part of this is it kind of shows a different use case for this truck. Of course, you've seen the Tremor truck on our channels you've seen a dually diesel but this is a proper dually truck with a really really high payload rating this is why the uh, commercial chassis cabs exist and this truck actually the way you see here outfitted with this dump bed and all of the equipment it has on this right now uh, weighs about 14,000 pounds the way it is and right here I'm gonna show you some loading of material which is kind of like just dirt and in this case, I'm picking up about 4,000 pounds of material. So um, let's see how that goes. So I'm gonna be at about 18,000 pounds combined weight. And uh, let's check it out. <laughs> let's do this. Who says work trucks aren't fun? It's a blast. It's not just because it's a heavy duty hauling truck and it's just kind of fun loading and unloading, but it also sounds kind of nice. It's got good pickup and go. I can't really feel the 4,000 pounds I just gained with this particular load. The truck's behaving in a similar fashion. Uh, the suspension is um, fairly comfortable. I mean, this is dirt. I'm here west of Phoenix at the Bighorn Gravel Quarry, so this is not a walk in the park on some pavement, but this is proper dirt construction type environment. And the suspension, especially with the extra weight, is working uh, quite well. Of course, these trucks must be loaded in order for them to actually ride properly, deliver the proper power. I'm running in tow haul mode, like I told you, and it's between third and fourth gears. Here's a turning radius test. I'm here in basically kind of a two lane highway simulation. Let me try this. Oh my gosh. I immediately can tell that this has a tremendously different turning radius when compared to the truck we purchased, the F-250. Oh boy. Let me get a couple of tire marks here so I can kind of measure it. <laughs> It's pretty insane. All right, let me use my feet to measure this distance, but it's pretty impressive. Come along. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty
19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35-ish. What? 35 feet? I mean, this is not scientific, but I mean, you get the point. The turning radius and the cut on the wheel is pretty surprising. probably wondering about the power ratings everybody asks why is the commercial chassis cap is rated differently than a regular consumer version of the truck well it's because of the different certification different emission regulations this 7.3 in this truck is rated at 350 horsepower and 468 pound-feet of torque so the ratings are quite a bit different between the commercial truck that this is and a consumer truck that you can get an F250 but it's because they're measured differently. Engine dyno in this case versus chassis dyno. Different regulations for emissions. Etc, etc. It's still class leading torque for this truck for 2020. And when you talk about the diesel truck, of course there is also the option for the power takeoff unit on the transmission on a 10 speed. And different ratings on the diesel as well. You guys are probably wondering what is this truck like moving 18,000 pounds of just the truck weight itself with this engine well let's find out as you may know we purchased a 2020 Ford Super Duty F250 with a 7.3 and a 10 speed and that truck sounded actually very different from this one from the factory this one I can hear more of it it's a little bit more beefy and I don't know if it's just because the cab is smaller less insulation maybe I mean, it's a different wheelbase, everything is different. But, I'm actually turned on the tow haul mode because this is hauling. And um, it is doing really well as far as pickup. Like, it's got good gearing and just moving slowly in second and third gear. This truck has plenty of power. I don't feel like I'm lacking on power whatsoever. Right now I'm in second gear. There's third. And a lot of you guys are also uh, have been asking us, you're worried about the 10 speed. Is it gonna be hunting for gears? Is it, is it okay? Well, this is a brand new transmission and it's heavy duty. It's not the same as an F-150 transmission using the same kind of philosophy as far as uh, how it's put together, but it's just much larger and obviously meant for heavy work. And from all of my experiences with it, the shifting is so smooth, you don't even notice it. Of course, the 2020 Super Duty trucks are arriving in dealers now. We purchased one in December and the commercial chassis cabs are also available right now. You can order them, specify what you want. And uh, how cool is this, right? an actual dump truck right here on TFL now and tfltruck.com and of course we have a lot more in the 2020 Super Duty on our website so come by and see us let's watch this Come check it out, check out the mechanism. You can kind of see the center mounted tank in there, in the, between the frame rails. Obviously there are different uh, wheelbase configurations, different tank configurations, diesel, gas, uh, but all of these 550, 450 trucks are equipped with a 10 speed automatic transmission, which is pretty impressive for a work truck. And uh, 
This is a great opportunity and go back to tfltruck.com for my news views and real world big truck reviews.